Oh, oh, he nasty. Okay. okay. Guys, we just got the last samples to our coffee company that we're starting. I just got to say, it's... We know our shit, bitch. That's Not to all. toot our fucking horn, but this is this is like probably the best coffee I've ever had. So. It's so good. <laughs> it's really good. I like I, I'm just so excited because this is something that we've been wanting to do, and it's yeah. like it's it's so close to being there. And we all the time we go to gas station, we try different coffees, and we I, just, I can't believe we never thought to just do our own. Yeah, since we just we're so picky with our coffees, so let's just do our own coffee and have our own flavors because and have our own thing. We know what we want exactly. Uh, we teamed up with a fourth generation. Generation roast master oh. who his family and family and family has been doing this and perfecting coffee beans yeah. and blending them together to come up with like exactly what you want and it, it's so exciting because i didn't realize how much goes into this stuff yeah. so like when we jumped into it it's just been it's been so overwhelming but so exciting for the both of us and it's so cool that we got to go to the actual factory and like watch our coffee being made and literally and, like, just be hands in what do you call that hands in being hands in i think hands put, on put, put, <laughs> hands on and, get and, your hand out of the coffee baby. So and, hands on right and, just, there. and just really right being there. part of the process i think that's really cool and like it's for so us cool. to like just do that together is really fucking awesome we were walking around with our bonnet and our beard mask <laughs> I, I almost felt like we we're doing our own palette yeah own <laughs> right palette. Um, but we have oh. a, a couple different flavors we're coming out with uh k cups coffee grinds a bunch of, i don't want to give away too much but we got some goodies coming for you guys and we're so excited to share that with you oh my and then and the name the name of the coffee don't say it yet i'm that, not gonna good. say it. i'm not <laughs> gonna say it but like i just want them to get really excited for i it. know like i still to this day see you guys use this word like on tweets Ooh. on our comments every like you still use it so it makes us feel really it, good that gonna, we're using it as our name it's gonna hit home to all of our little coffee beans out there exactly. so we're really excited here's a hint y'all gotta think back in the mm. vine days Ooh, you know? stop he's saying too much now. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. well alright let's roll the intro yeah, before he gives away it's coffee talk baby Woo! yeah Woo! I got my leg up on that one. (laughs) What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I am one of your hosts, Heath. And I am one of your hosts, Zane. We gotta find a better way to say that. (laughs) Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Where's Zane and Heath, baby? Before we get this podcast started, we just want to give a big thank you and shout out to our sponsor, Honey. Honey. If you don't know what Honey is, it's a free browser extension. So you get the best deals on over 20,000 sites without even trying, like Target, eBay, Best Buy, J. Crew. Name it, you name it, you name it. My friend Matt over here has saved hundreds of dollars using it. What's great is it automatically does it for you. It runs through a bunch of different promo codes and finds you the best deals possible without you even doing anything. It installs within two clicks and it's free. So there's literally no reason that you shouldn't have it. So guys, if you're buying gifts this holiday season, you need honey. And if you're not and know someone who does, do them a solid and tell them about honey, baby. Mm-hmm. It makes me so mad buying something knowing that I could have saved money on just by using a promo code. It's yeah, it's so funny. simple and like it's something you don't really think about. Yeah. Um, I actually was buying something on Amazon the other day and I completely forgot that I installed Honey a few months ago. Oh really? Yeah. And I went to go check out and it boom, it popped up and gave me a promo code and I saved like twenty bucks. And I was like, I totally forgot that I had it. And I was wow. like, it was it was the greatest feeling. Like something about saving money yeah. feels so good. It's the gift that keeps on giving, baby. Especially with the holidays coming up, there's gonna be so much online shopping. Yeah. You got Black Friday, Christmas, guys. It's free. And you could you could save a ton of money because with the sales are already happening during the holidays. Honey is just gonna make you give you even a bigger exactly. Uh, deal. Yeah. So make sure to download it. Tell your friends about it. Your family save as much money as you can. There's over 10 million people that use Honey, and they've saved a billion dollars together. And guess what? That's one of those 10 million I am people. Too. So guys, right after this podcast, make sure to go to joinhoney.com/unfiltered. Again, that's joinhoney.com/unfiltered, baby. And get to saving that money because you will be a crazy crazy person if you didn't download it i love so doing good deeds <laughs> oh my god oh my god i feel like a good save person. that money this holiday season and treat yourself do mm-hmm. it we just get right into it me and mariah were on regis and Ke- i keep calling it regis we were on ryan and Ke- <laughs> kelly kelly oh kelly, kelly Rowland, ryan. We, we were on kelly Rowland's music video uh, guys we were on kelly and ryan and uh, well, is it Ke- are you sure it's kelly that, and it ryan? Just doesn't flow it's it, kelly and ryan or is it ryan and it's kelly? correct but it doesn't it's flow. kelly and ryan ryan and kelly it, sounds much better it does because it used to be regis and kelly oh but so i think it was too but it used to be regis and kathy 
<gasps> yes. Remember yeah. Kathy yeah. Lee uh-huh. back in the day? Oh, they just like, be swapping all these bitches out. Know. So they actually played uh, a TikTok that me and Mariah did on the show. And it's crazy because you just put that TikTok, TikTok out like four days Last, ago. Yeah. yeah. Which which TikTok was the it? The one where I'm like on top of her. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, isn't TV. this a children's app? <laughs> um, I was on it's, top of her and like we we lay back. and We were counterbalancing. Sure. Oh, yes. That like big trend. Yeah. 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 But you guys didn't start it, right? No. Or? no. It was funny because Howie Mandel was on the show and he was oh. explaining TikTok because he loves TikTok so much. So he pulled up. I don't even think he realized that oh, it I, was your guys' TikTok. Yeah, I, I bet he so. did. I bet he did. I don't think or he's he never met Howie. Have you met Howie? I've met him like 10 times. Oh, okay. So he <laughs> definitely knows then. He definitely knows. But every time here. I see him, he always gives me the look like... <laughs> nice to meet you. No, no, he's no he, well, he I love that you're trying to do a hands, hands yeah. but it's it's that look. You know what I mean? That's how everybody knows your lines. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, he wouldn't shake your hand. Interesting. <laughs> no, he, he he does give me like a look, like he kind of remembers me, but not really. Okay, yeah. interesting. But they did. Um, at, they tagged you on their Instagram. Yeah, yeah, they tagged you too. They tried to tag you. <laughs> they at Mar- Mariah Mar- Motto. <laughs> they put Mariah. Motto. Oh, they, they no. Were so and they, they really? It's taggable, so you go to it, and it goes to some like random girl. She's probably like, what? That's not me. So did they try to recreate it? Did they successfully yeah. do it? Yeah. Matt spelled my name wrong. Hold on. I have to be focused in a conversation, Mariah. Matt yes, I take is notes. really, really bad at spelling. Whenever I see like the formatting of the show, he has like a typo in every single book. I know what- Okay, auto, motto, pia. <laughs> <laughs> it's called auto, motto. I, I think I spelled it right on the- in No, the you did yeah, not. Yeah. You said auto. Oh, my God. Yo, let, let's, let's talk about this real quick. Um, so I decided to film a Are You Smarter Than a Fourth Grader video, which was the worst decision I've ever made because I basically put me and Mariah both on the spot heavy. On oh, blast. <laughs> With, I mean, they were pretty tough questions. I'm still, I still stand by how like those tr- questions were pretty tough. I know the answer. I've heard the answers before, but I don't like remember it. You know yeah, what uh, I mean? I mean, yes, they are <laughs> questions where it's not like they're super hard. Shut up. But Fuck you, man. I just didn't remember it. Game. No, I just think you didn't learn it being smart <laughs> is all about memory Come it is I, yeah. and i'm you know i'm the worst with memory so i can't memorize shit you give me a script i won't remember anything on the script after i read it maybe it's all right it's okay we're street smart not book we're smart street smart exactly so you chose books we chose look exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was really depressing me and mariah we kind of looked at each other we're like damn this is very bad we're not we we actually we actually really considered not to even post the video yeah, because was we were contemplating so, it. it was just it was so bad but like with Mariah's intense, great editing skills, we were able to make it look good. Because it, it was we, we cut out a lot of awkwardness in there. Because uh-huh. me and Mariah were just like made them look good. <laughs> oh, no, I, there was some tension in the air after we filmed that. <laughs> oh my like, god, it was so awkward. I thought it was the end of the podcast. <laughs> like, I was like, it's all downhill from I here. I was like tearing up at one point. Mariah, Mariah like walked out, and then I, I was sitting here. I was like, did I say anything? Should I, should I have said something? Matt was like, oh my god, this is so bad. Oh. Honestly, I was like. Like, Heath, no, you're fine. It's really just embarrassment because I feel the same way too. You're fine, Heath. Yeah. <laughs> We're just embarrassed. Oh, and Zane was in such like a sad mood on the oh, ride dude. home. He goes, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I should have never filmed that. And he was just <laughs> in the worst mood. And I was trying to like play music. So I was like, I'm just going to play sad music. And he's like, are you putting on sad songs? Everybody <laughs> hurts. <laughs> no, the, the song almost sounded like that song. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Matt, are you going to play this song? And he's like, dude, in sad moments, you got to play sad songs. I'm like, I don't think that's how it works. Well, yeah, but then I didn't want to song. put you in a worse mood because you would be like me playing a happy song and you'd be like, I, I'm not we in the mood. You got him right, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was like a really depressing night. I remember like I remember I texted you, I was like, I just oh God, it was just a really rough night. Because you knew exactly how I felt too. Yeah, so no, I knew like- exactly. Me and and Matt- I told you guys from the beginning, I was like, okay, but I'm telling you, like, I'm going to embarrass myself. And Zane's like, no, 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 trust me. It's going to be all me. <laughs> Remember we were going to play the game on the podcast? We couldn't edit that shit. Remember, no. imagine us trying to- Oh my God. That could have gone that sour. Been, we wouldn't have a podcast. Yeah. We'd have to. <laughs> okay, but speaking of memory, though, can you even remember your uh, your birthday that happened this past Absolutely Monday? Absolutely not. Oh. You know what, bitch? It was my birthday. Yeah, I had a little too much to drink, and yes, I had a little too much fun. So you know what? <laughs> His face did not say fun when I was checking up on him throughout the night. I, I just remember, like, I remember walking in, 
and immediately regretting having a because I didn't really want to have a birthday. I, I really wanted to skip this year. I because the, it was the three nights before my birthday. We all we went out every night and like really went. Oh, hard. I saw the all stories. You guys were going hard. We were because there was something going on every I night. I know Todd was celebrating his book release. Exactly. We were yeah. celebrating just the midnight of Zane's birthday. And I was at NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And that was like that was I was fine with that. And we were at Saddle Ranch celebrating for Todd's book. And you know what? We all got a little drunk and came up with the idea of renting out Saddle Ranch, which was it was not a good idea. In the mo- because I woke up, the- I remember waking up the next day. I was just like, I shouldn't have done that, but it, it, I already bought it. So it we have to do <laughs> it. I I it. What was your theme? Um, the theme was, oh, wear black to black out. Oh. <laughs> Very fitting. Very appropriate. <laughs> Very good. And there's rainbow balloons and rainbow ball pits. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Whoever decorated it, it looked like Zane's coming out party. <laughs> like, I walked yeah, in and I was like. Oh. I remember walking in and immediately regretting. But everybody was there. It was a lot of fun. I remember all of us. I remember everybody having a good time. It's just funny because everybody saw Zane and it's like, oh, let's take a shot with the birthday boy. What people don't realize is like, you just made him take 15 shots because 15 different people wanted to yeah, take a shot. and I, I definitely at some point I did not remember those shots being taken because I I just don't think I was even. Yeah, there Zane at that point. went downhill. Quick. Yeah, and then David had a surprise for me, and I think he should have done the surprise a little sooner because at this point I was really, really just oh, drunk, and and I remember he was um David was like, all right, put this blindfold on. I was just like, oh my god, I'm so drunk, I can't do this right now. He puts on the blindfold on Matt too, and I was like, at that point, I was like, yeah, I, I was. I Your mean, gears I, are going. I couldn't really think though at this moment. All I know was like, oh my god, what's well, what's well, gonna happen? Zane's probably thinking, well, if Matt has a blindfold on, then it's probably not a car for me. <laughs> like, it, <laughs> it, it, it's like something that's not a singular right. gift for me. Like yeah. Matt has to be involved. I didn't think it was a person. I just thought it was something. Oh really? Or, I don't, yeah, I don't know. What did you think? I, I was like, deep down, I was like, it's either Lord, <laughs> Lord the singer. Like Lord or, himself? Like Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or Miss Juicy. Like, wow. ima- Imagine how Lord would have opened up because you know how Miss Juicy was like, it's Miss Juicy, baby. <laughs> it was, yeah, I wonder what Lord would have done. But explain who Miss Juicy is. All right, Miss Juicy, baby, she is um, she is a, a, contest- a contestant. <laughs> A TV personality. She's a t- TV personality on the show Little Woman of Atlanta. Yes. And Matt and I do not watch the show at all. We've never seen the show, but we do watch her clips that, yeah. that are that service on the internet. So like we'll the watch best of the Miss best Juicy. of Miss Juicy, Baby. <laughs> and we'll watch that. And she's just the sassiest, funniest like person. To oh watch. yeah. Everybody that know me know know that my tagline is Miss Juicy Baby. Okay. So not all of a sudden. Oh, she, she just. I, I don't even think she realizes that. It's more like she's just a meme. She just. It happens to be that and yeah. she doesn't realize yeah because like reality shows there's like always like really crazy personalities on it and sometimes they can just be like kind of like annoying but Miss Juicy she is the realest there she calls out everybody on their bullshit and she just brings the whole brings show the together the yeah, the oh juice. she brings the juice and the yes. funny oh, yeah, exactly <laughs> my favorite one is so what the hell we gonna do now what the hell we gonna do now <laughs> my, my favorite is like girl I hope you get it together <laughs> is there anything else you want I hope you get it together I hope you do so. Oh, girl. Is there anything else you want? She was such a good sport the entire night. I just remember, I remembered like picking her up and she was just totally fine with it because I watched like videos. I literally called that. I was like, Zane is going to pick her up within like the first five minutes. And he's going to be like this, like dancing. I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. And I did, but she seemed, she seemed, she seemed so fine with it. Like in the video, she was just like really happy. So that made me really happy. She posted on her Instagram, like four different stories on her main feed of you guys. She was super excited about it. She's like, are you crying? <laughs> so you had a lot of fun with Miss Juicy Baby. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I and you guys, I didn't remember this happening, but apparently I fell asleep on the bathroom floor. Well, Zane got lost for an hour. And I'm, I'm like, wait, I haven't seen Zane in a minute. And I'm going around to everybody. I'm like, yo, have, has anybody seen Zane? And they're like, no. No, we haven't. Uh, <laughs> I know someone was like, he, you came up to me and you were like, can you check your find uh, my iPhone to see like where yeah. Zane's location is? Like we thought you were like, <laughs> but it showed, been... but it showed you were still at Saddle Ranch. Yeah, and I literally couldn't find you anywhere. Guys, I would never leave y'all. You think I would just leave you? Baby, you I don't. Gone. Your piss story says otherwise. Baby, I was baby, right. I was physically there, but I wasn't mentally there. And you then know what I'm saying? I don't remember who told me, but somebody was like, yeah, I saw Zane in the bathroom, and I'm pretty sure he was eating a girl out, and I was like. 
<laughs> Zane? My baby Zane? On the, no, ba- no, no, on the no, no, bathroom no. floor. I was like, that, that sounds out of character. <laughs> um, so it was the girl that was in David's vlog with Jason where she was like sitting on his face, basically. Yeah, and someone, somebody was saying it was like a stripper. I was like, there was a stripper at my birthday? I, I'm, I, I 100% know there was not a stripper at my birthday. There were so many rumors. And it, it yeah. ended up being that lady that was in David's So, <laughs> So I oh. couldn't find Zane. So I go into the bathroom. There was one stall that was like locked. And I'm banging on the door and nobody's answering. Oh, no. And I'm like, this has got to be him. <laughs> so I was like, peeked over the top of the stall and Zane. Oh, he's just slumped <laughs> over. Oh, was that on the toilet? Yeah. I love sitting on the toilet when I'm drunk. Like, I'll just go on the toilet. I'm just, I chill. And uh, <laughs> we're like, yeah, sure enough. But you know what's safe? His, it's like, it's my safe space. Where, was it, safe haven. Were his pants down or is he just like yes. having a thought? Always, always. We get him up and then he opens the door and... He literally opens the door up to me and I look at him and there's just red all over his face. And I was like, oh my God, the rumors are true. Oh my God. <laughs> but it was icing. It was I guess. Cake. Oh he had no. All in the cake. I don't and know I how like, nobody got that because the whole time I took cake and I was just like, ah, I, I, nobody yeah. saw that apparently. They just it, saw me coming out of the bathroom with the red face. It was, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my, he really on one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it was it was a crazy night for Zane. And yeah, it was it was crazy, but you know it's my birthday. You got to. He's a survivor. He ain't gonna give up. <laughs> yeah, but definitely, I'm taking a break. Taking a break from any type of liquor. You know, you I go. can't I can't do that. That was that was rough. But it was your but party. You know, you, it was my birthday. Yeah, exactly. you had. I wouldn't expect anything. Yeah, uh, you have every less. right. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm bragging about it. <laughs> yeah, I blacked can out. You, can you guys do that? Yeah, I blacked out. Can you lock yourself in a bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think so. Did you guys see the Tesla, the new Tesla truck? Oh, <laughs> did the we cyber, see it? Cyber like, truck. Cyber truck. I'm sorry. It, cyber truck. It literally broke the internet in a bad way. <laughs> oh. It is. I, I don't want to talk shit, but like it is no, the talk most shit, man. It, hideous thing I've ever seen. It like it looks like. Remember when I was designing my my old house? The, yeah, remember yeah, yeah. the interior design? That's what it looked it like. It looks like an LA shed. <laughs> like straight up. But no car should look like that. That's what like little kid when little kids draw cars, like what, what they right. want their cars to look like, that's what it looks like. What were you expecting? A right. lot of people saw the renders and the renders like I was like, oh wow, it looks like a Tesla, but it looks like a truck. It's pretty cool. It looked pretty good. The three renders that you showed us, yeah. it looked pretty it looked nice. Good. Like this shit came out looking like a stealth bomber. <laughs> <laughs> like so like something you find on Mars. No, he made it because it's going to be the first car to drive on Mars. Like, we're not on Mars right now. <laughs> doesn't the city have to approve these, like, cars? Like, it looks really aggressive. It yeah. doesn't look like something that should be driving around in the streets that scare people There's off. no, like, rear view mirrors on the outside. It, yeah, it's it's really bizarre. And the lights are uh, just the strip. I don't and know. And the inside, it looks like like a, a modern kitchen counter. Like, yeah. it's all marble. <laughs> They're going to be playing this clip in the future of us <laughs> just, like, saying how we hated the first <laughs> new revolution of design and cars. we all oh have one god. we all have one. <laughs> oh my god but it's it's so weird it's so, very weird and then in the live they were testing the glass so they throw the oh rock my and god. it breaks the glass how did they not make sure that that wasn't gonna happen you have I, to run tests i have a thing a feeling they did it on purpose why because we're talking awareness. about it. That's like, true. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it was like a publicity stunt. How does Tesla, the, the leader in rocket technology, not test out bulletproof, like shatterproof windows before it brings that out? I'm no. sure Elon saw the renders, all those renders. And I'm, right. I'm sure he saw that and was like, you know what? We're going to fuck him up on this one. Do you think the design of the car was because they were focused so much on making it like being able to tow a lot of weight, getting really fast? Like they had to make compromises with the design to achieve their technical. It doesn't have that that much towing. I think it said 15,000 towing capacity. Oh, really? That's that's nothing compared to other trucks. Did you hear the rumor that it was like apparently going to be able to tow a rocket? If a rocket can go through the car door window, then I don't think it could tow a rocket. Not Like a a rocket. The thing is, like, I think, who, I think the ATV is rocket? cool. I think the ATV is great. The ATV, the ATV is actually sick. It looks pretty sick. The truck just looks so silly, it's so and goofy. and the the it's, price doesn't make sense either. It looks it? like a two hundred thousand dollar car, but it's forty thousand dollars. What? It's $40, yeah, there's like three different levels. I think there's forty, Can it, fifty something, and then seventy is the highest. Paying forty grand and you drive that on the street, it makes no sense. Can you even like fit it in a parking space? Like it looks it, abnormally it looks, large. Yeah. It looks like I a camper. But also, what's confusing is like, yeah, they're saying it's going to be like forty thousand, but 
I remember when the Model 3 was coming out, it was like, this is the affordable, everybody can afford this Tesla. Like, you Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. It was but like, like, this is the $30,000 Tesla everybody's going to have. And then everybody I know that has one, it was like $70,000. They do those sales where it's like, it's, hey, we're, you're saving this much money because you don't have to pay for gas. You don't have to pay for this. Right. So and they the, take all that out in the beginning, but like you still have to pay. Exactly. Yeah. I don't. I didn't understand when I bought my Tesla for two days. <laughs> for two days. <laughs> Thank God they have a ten day pol- a return policy because I would. Uh, yeah, it would just it would it would suck. But m- it went from like seventy thousand to like one hundred and ten thousand. Yeah, because they're like, okay, we're estimating you're going to keep the car for thirty years. Yeah. This is how much you'd spend on gas, which would be twenty thousand dollars. So take that off the price. Yeah. Can I say something though? Yeah. I kind of like it. Kind of like what? The Tesla Cybertruck. Of course you do. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, he, I think it's yo, just... Yo, you listen to Elon Musk? Yeah, we got an ass kisser over here on... No, like, I just filter. think it's like really edgy. Yes, the design is very unconventional, but I find it just revolutionary and just like very unique and there's but, nothing like it. I get it, but I feel like a- anybody would design something like that, but they, we, they would never put it out because it's people just wouldn't drive that. It looks to me like if you were to go back to the 1930s and be like, draw a car from the 2020s. Right. Th- that's what it. But I kind of like. like that. Like I, I don't guess know it that, had to happen sometime. That straight edge style of it the future. It looks like it's trying to be futuristic. I just I just feel like it's gonna poke people as it's driving by. You know, it's gonna it, poke yeah, people. It's just, it's so like, <laughs> it, it's just pull this, bro. It looks like a battle bot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then like the spinny thing on the front. Elon, baby, do your thing. You're rich as fuck. You can do whatever you want. I, but again, like siding with Matt on this one when it comes to he's doing it for publicity. Like this guy is so fucking rich. Right. I I could see him putting this out just because people will hate it. Because like, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. It's like just a joke to him. Like I, I totally get it. I mean, in some sort of way, it is kind of cool because it is so different yeah. and in your face. Like, what the fuck is this? But if I saw I don't know. I, I want to want... show it to like my grandma. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, would that love would be to interesting. Show it to like grandparents. I, $40,000 for a car is still a lot. I know it's a lot, but like it doesn't look like a forty thousand dollar car. Hold on. Speaking of cars, can we talk about what happened today, though? I don't. I'm scared to talk about it because I feel like my video is not going to come out before this podcast. No, it's going <laughs> to come out. It's going to come out. No, well, this Wait, is going to mo- yeah, this will you motivate go. you to upload. We this, get will, a this, push, will, baby. this will uh, uh, this will motivate me to upload. Okay, but guys, I got a Lamborghini Urus. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That means my credit went through. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Lord knows how. But Zane, oh. didn't you have a Tesla and a Range Rover? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I'm very indecisive, as you can <laughs> tell. So yeah, no, it wasn't like a, like a special getting my first car feeling, but it was a special. I have a fucking Lamborghini feeling, right. which is like, which is insane. And I just wanted to match with Heath. Mm. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to match with Heath a little bit. I think you made a financially responsible. <laughs> <laughs> that was not. No, I mean, my financial advisor was like, "Do not get it," and I was like, "I'm gonna get it." He said, "Put it on the Amex." <laughs> Put it on the Amex. <laughs> Obviously. Almost every car decision is going to be financially irresponsible, and it's it's a depreciating <laughs> asset. It yeah. is. I mean, yeah. it is. You're, I mean, you're going to lose money regardless, and I'd rather lose in a Lamborghini. Exactly. Lam- <laughs> I, like, a, no. like a year ago, I saw the Urus for the first time. I was in it, but I never drove it, and I was in love with it. I, I, I felt so comfortable in it. I felt like I was in my like my Jeep again. It just yeah. felt like an SUV, and it was fucking crazy because it was a Lamborghini. And then, well, four months ago, a kid that we met takes us for a spin in his Urus, and he knows how to drive it. He's yeah. like a professional Urus driver, <laughs> and he really showed us the most you can do with a Urus, and it's fucking insane. It was like a roller coaster. It was better than a roller it coaster. It feels like what you think the Cybertruck would drive yeah. like. <laughs> like we got to take them both with that with that kid that we met yeah, for I'll a just, ride. It's, just, just let me drive. No, you guys. No, no, I'm not no, getting behind the wheel of any car with someone who says that they're like no, no, really he's good. safe. He's safe. <laughs> Oh my he sound god! Like you are a oh my god! He sounds like an idiot. He's oh god, safe. He's, such a diva. he's never been in a crash before. <laughs> what are you gonna name it? Did you name it? Oh, Mariah did. Mariah did. Ulysses. 
Yulisa. Oh. Yulisa. So uh, first say Yulisa, last name Yuris. Yulisa Yuris. Yulisa Yuris. You leased it? You le- <laughs> 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 I actually done Lisa. I financed it. There you go. Which Ooh. was another bad financial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy I get to ride around in it. Right. <laughs> Matt got oh, yeah, so excited Matt. when he saw the interior. Matt oh, was like, yeah. this is going to be parked outside my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like that with this G-Wagon and now with the Lambo. I just can't believe now two of my closest friends have Lambo. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It's not illegal to be excited about something. Listen, like, like we are two <laughs> kids from Florida who Self don't made. deserve anything that we have right now and we're just so exactly. thankful and excited to be able to yeah so many people with like Lamborghinis they it's uh, the story of how they probably got their money is just like it was handed to them or they just like I don't know I don't know Wait. Cry a little bit. and I can't believe you two guys just like self made I mean, like, mine Florida. was given I didn't even buy it <laughs> but still no oh, like yeah. that's, that's, that's even better it's like it's so cool having friends that are so so successful and they're and they're so humble at the same time everybody knows their place everybody knows their lane everybody stays in their lane yeah. and like nobody's uh, arrogant i wonder if there's like a new person that's like checking us out and they watch the are you smarter than a fourth grader video then they're like oh let me see what they're up to you guys have lamborghinis (laughs) jesus how did this idiot have a lamborghini you know what casey said to me the other day and i casey who nice that Uh he was like the thing about money is that yes money makes like people evil or whatever and like it can make you know money's not money's the root of evil or whatever but he said money makes good people better and bad people worse. Mm. And I was like, wow, that is so true. I didn't really think about that. Yeah. That thing, that is such like a Casey Neistat thing he'd say. Like, and I was like, that's yeah. so true because yeah. like bad people who get a hold of money, like they just, they're, they do even worse things yeah. because they're rich and they can. Mm-hmm. But people who are good, they get money and then they help and they, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, ooh, that's, that's some truth. Like it really that. hit yeah. me. I was like, holy shit, that's cool. So this all happened today. I surprised Matt with a car. It was, <sighs> it, it's so crazy. It's, it's, I'm so blessed. Can I tell I'm you so about grateful. my new car obsession? What? I know. I, sorry. I talk about cars. We've so been much. talking about cars for a while, but the t- conversation's still flowing. Um, so on. this past weekend, Mariah and I went to NASCAR. <gasps> oh, I'm so jealous. I know. I was you know about what's crazy? Time. All of this was sparked because when we were on the cruise in your Instagram story, Matt and I were talking about, I want to go to NASCAR one day. How oh cool would my. that be? And you guys were hammered. Uh, yeah. We were hammered drunk. And you bit my like arm in the <laughs> video. And I'm like, ow, I want to see cars go fast. Who bit your arm? I he did. bit my arm. He's I'm a, a biter. biter when he drinks. And then his mom told me he used, he almost got kicked out of preschool because he was a biter. I oh, didn't know this. Well, you were a biter? Oh. Apparently, I was a really bad biter. Like I used to bite everybody <laughs> Keith, you bit me hard i wonder if we still have the vi- the clip of us on the oh, I got, oh i'll get it right now. i'll get it baby we'll and play i it don't right know here. why i bit you i don't know you bite when you drink i don't know why mariah says it all the time too like every time i get drunk she's like you bit me really hard like oh. bite like right here on your arm yes it's right where he bit me yeah well Whoa, anyways Heath. you have an oral fixation <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I quit my cigarettes i need something to do <laughs> uh but um, but in that clip, I mentioned like, oh, I want to go to NASCAR. I want to see cars go fast. And somebody who was watching the Instagram stories from NASCAR reached out. But somehow I got cut from the invite, <laughs> and you two got to go. I, I don't know how I got cut out. That was my Instagram story. <laughs> it was the craziest. Like obviously. I've seen NASCAR on TV and I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. I've watched Cars, the movie. Right, exactly. <laughs> so she knows exactly what it's about. Yeah. Um, no, but being there in person and feeling the hype, the energy, just. It was like your adrenaline was going the entire dude, time. Dude, I, I recommend everybody go to it at least once. No, Matt, like we weren't interested in NASCAR going into it. We knew nothing about it. We got to go into like the garages in the pits. And basically imagine if you got to go to like a basketball game, you're going to the Laker game and you're in the locker room and the players are around you and you're just like poking, like you literally walking around. You got to go inside. Like literally where they're like jacking up the cars and like, (laughs) dude, so crazy. We didn't have to sit in the stands. We got to stand in one of the pits. So when a pit stop happened, we were right there. We got through. It It was not just like, (laughs) yes, they have to do it in 12 seconds. Dude. And it's, (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my god! If James, James was a big uh, guy, you'd be like, oh, oh, I couldn't, like I the couldn't even grab the tire and out of my trunk in twelve seconds. I, I, I <laughs> couldn't like, get out of my car <laughs> in like twelve seconds. Crazy. That's insane. It was amazing. You feel it in you. You know, in Talladega Nights, where she's like, the vibrations yeah. of the cars. Like it really is. Like you like feel it it's in you. It's a really oh, cool my, feeling. My first day doing it, I forget a screw and it's like, go go. I was like, shit, no. Screw. <laughs> 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 That'd be bad. Matt would appreciate this. What? I took some bolts from the ground. Get, wait, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Well, so That's check cool. this out. I didn't like obviously like you see it and it's like that's a race. Like who's the fastest? Turn left. And it doesn't look like there's that much into it. But we we were learning so much that just shaving off the tiniest amounts of weight. Will will make you point zero 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 two milliseconds faster around yeah. the track, Whoa. and they get the car completely scanned before the race. It and goes it, like, into this like black like box, three like D scanner. And these laser beams are scanning the car. You do like different modifications, and one of the guys working there came up and showed us a lug nut for one of the the wheels, and it was the top groove was shaved down so you know the yeah. the threads one of the, the top thread was shaved down Ooh. to remove that much like like thread and they got deducted <laughs> because that makes them go a little bit faster when they're trying to take the ball oh and yeah. This, yeah this happened this happened when you were there yeah, yeah. And so were these wow. like people like arguing like who shaved down the lug nuts it <laughs> no, wasn't. You just we, get didn't, points we, didn't, off. we didn't see it but like he came and showed us he's like we just caught this one right now I'm like, how do you? That's so, so. What happens? He just he gets. You, you, have, get to, you have to go back and redo it. There's like <laughs> go in time out. <laughs> oh no! I thought you just you just get disqualified. You're, you're caught cheating. No, there's no. there's like three rounds of uh, like review for your car before you can actually. Oh race. damn! Like, they give them a lot of chances, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm like this might not be the most exciting, but we met this girl who's a, a race car driver. Uh huh. And she was saying how much goes into it. Like, so if she scrapes a wall with her car, somebody bumps her a little bit, like there's damage to the car and that needs to be fixed when they come back around. Yeah. So she'll pull to an outside lane. Racing, be a, like still While going. racing, she'll just get into a wider lane. Somebody up top, like at the very top of the stadium has a camera, will snap a picture as she's going by at 200 miles an hour, sends it into your pit crew. They check it out. They're like, okay, this is the damage. So they know exactly oh. what to do when they pull into the pit. Yo, I, I, that, that would stress me the fuck out. Yes. I mean, you have to be so quick and on yes. your toes. Crazy. At all times. Time. Crazy. They can't turn their head while they're driving. They're, straight. they're only straight. So they can't see if somebody's coming next to them. Anything. It's all a radio. Like you got a guy coming up right now coming. Like, like oh, it's, whoa. Is yeah. it because is it because like they're like they have like yeah. a they have their helmet on. and then everything is like locked in so they can't move. It's crazy how inside those cars is just nothing. Yeah. And just the seat. And that net. It's yeah. a, there's a net, right? Like uh -huh. that, we ended up spending like two hundred dollars on gear. <laughs> <laughs> but it's we just, knew nothing about NASCAR. We, oh, we we're, we're I'm for in it now. I'm, go, I'm going to every single one. Talladega, yeah! Dude, NASCAR taters, titties, beer. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I want to go Daytona 500. I want to get like an RV and like camp out in the middle of it. The like, RV. Oh. How are so cool. How oh, much yeah, is it to be in there and those I, things? I don't know. I don't NASCAR know. was just like, here, if you want to come. And like, I, I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. People had like their RVs parked, but you can't see the race. So they all had their flat screen TVs outside of it with their little campground. They put out lights around it and made it look like a fucking front yard. They're all hanging out. Yeah. Like, it was. So they could hear the race live, but they're the watching it on the TV. The most interesting thing I've ever seen. We gotta go. It that's, looks so fun. That, that, that's, that sounds like a lot of fun. Dude, like I'm, I'm so surprised at how much I love. I it. watched, I watched a trailer for a movie that's about, uh, not about NASCAR. I believe. Yeah. I think Ford versus whatever. Well, Ford versus Ford Ferrari. Ford versus Ferrari. And the trailer, it's crazy because like I don't, I have no interest in like NASCAR, but the trailer looked insane. Like yeah. your guys is like when I saw your stories, it looked insane. It's crazy Dude. how they make that sport look so fucking exciting. That's what I love about Matt as a roommate because he loves to stay up and watch movies. Yeah, and I love to do I the do. same thing. Well, that's so funny because every yeah, time I talk to you, you're like, have you seen this movie on Netflix? I'm like, no. And like, <laughs> that's all we do. Yeah. I, you I guys have it. seen Why? every single movie. I'm like, what the uh, fuck? It'll be 1.30 at night and I'll be in my bed like ready to fall asleep and Matt will go ding, ding, ding. Like after coming back from whatever he's doing, he opens the door, he's like, 
hey, what's up? And it was just like, I'm in my bed. And then we're like, oh, yeah, let's watch a movie. And like, like, <laughs> since I have Disney Plus, I'll like turn on like an old school Disney Channel original movie. And Zane can hear it's like, oh, there's Smart House. <laughs> he comes in. Smart and he's is like, that Brink? Yeah. It's br- no, Disney X is actually insane. Disney At first Plus. when he told me about it, I was like, eh, Disney, it's Disney Plus? It's Disney Plus. Disney, Disney X? X is like the, the X version. <laughs> it's a mature, it's like the mature porn remakes content. of them. Oh yeah, so it's cr- Disney Plus. It's crazy. That I'm, like I thought it was kind of like, oh, whatever. And then when he showed me like what's on there, it's like, whoa. It's like, you know, you know, that you can get those movies easily on any other app. But like that one just gives you it reminds you that movies yeah. still exist, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. and they, like throwing it back to Johnny Tsunami. Yeah, oh, all God. of it. But oh. you wouldn't think about that. But when you but this app just makes you just and it's remember. crazy how much Disney owns like so many other movies that you wouldn't even think of. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, oh, so anyways, it's my new favorite thing. But <laughs> recently, Zane. <laughs> Uh, well, we had some little late night cravings when we watch uh, movies. Yeah, I was on the phone with Stas, and I, and she was eating something. I was like, "What are you eating?" She's like, "Toaster strudel." I was like, uh, "Oh my god, I haven't had a toaster strudel in like eight, I haven't actually had one in like eight years." It's basically a a, a real pop tart, right? That's what pop tarts. It's are just like yeah, yeah, yeah it's just a yeah, true it's like strudel, it's, and it's just filled with just uh, uh, jelly filling. Yeah. And you, like, and you toast them up and I hadn't had one in years because like I had them all yeah. the time as a kid and so Zane Postmates some <laughs> I Postmates some just it. one box just one box and I, I'm pretty sure I think we were I mean <laughs> I'm trying to cover on to not seem lazy but I'm pretty sure we were both drunk when we were watching yeah. Smart House <laughs> that's why we didn't go pick up strudels so I pop them in the I pop them in the toaster and then all of a sudden like the smell of it comes out and yeah. it was just crazy that the smell brought you right back Back well, to yeah, scents oh. are, trigger memories it's so much. Your olfactory uh, yeah. receptors. And Matt was just like, Zane, just just smell that. It's like you waking up in the morning, just trying to be quiet in the kitchen while everybody's still sleeping and you're up for you school. You guys are saying that like it was an, a beautiful thing. Like I remember hating waking no, up in the morning. I, for, I know, you, but you, like, you remember getting up at like 5 a.m. for just, first hour. It was just nostalgic. Just, yeah. I don't know. I, I, it, I really enjoyed it. Zane gets out the frosting things. You know how it's just one frosting pack yeah. for two strudels. <laughs> and Zane's like, easy, Matt. Easy on your one thing. I'm like, I know. I'm, I'm uh-huh. being careful. And Zane's like, yeah, I'm getting some He's too. Strudel police over here? I so <laughs> literally stole another icing while he wasn't looking. I like took two icing. Cause well, that was re- the best part. I remember that the icing never fully coated the strudel. It was, they always gave you less than what you needed. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take two because I remember it and never filled. So I took the two. So somebody's got to have a dry ass strudel later on. <laughs> Surprisingly, one of the icings does fill up the strudel. It does fill, fully fill. I think they like changed that. But instead the of years. putting the second one back. I sat, I sat there and sucked it. <laughs> so, so I like was eating my strudel. Like, come here. I look back. He has like two packets, just hitting them like like little <laughs> like jello gogurts. shots. Just like, like just whippets. Yeah, just like taking a whip. <laughs> but you know what? It's the nostalgia. If that's what you did yeah. when you were a kid. <laughs> like I, I don't think I want to eat it again anytime soon. But that it was just I really enjoyed eating. Well, it. we can't eat it again because you ate all the frosting. <laughs> okay, you're I right. I think so. my my morning go to. Like breakfast pastry was, uh, they were called muffin tops. Do you remember those? Never heard of muffin them. tops. Muffin tops. Ego muffin tops. It was like the top of a muffin. Like it was like a little like dome cap, and they were chocolate chocolate chip. No, I remember everything Eggo Dude. except for muffin tops. Oh I don't my know. god! Muffin Only muffin top I heard is what I what I have. <laughs> <under my own. laughs> he is very familiar with those. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a muffin top all my life. Th- those are my shits. Thanksgiving's coming up. Are you guys excited? Or are you going to spend it with your family? Um, or, uh, I am so excited, but so nervous at the same time. Oh yeah, because uh, so our parents are meeting. Yeah, <gasps> they've never met. They've never uh, met before. His are in Florida, mine's Pennsylvania, so they're flying to Pennsylvania. It's like meet the Fockers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's, ex- it's, ex- it's, it's, it's exciting, but I'm like also very nervous for them. I'm like just hoping yeah. for the best because it, it's like it really is everything. Like your family's got a click, yeah. you know, and it's like, I know, I know. Your parents are flying to Pennsylvania to her. Families. Okay, was that yeah. your idea? Your idea? They, his parents were like, I think we're just gonna go to Pennsylvania for Thanksgiving. So they like jokingly said it. They're like, we're gonna go to the Poconos, and I was like, okay, mom. Well, I, I wish you both the best. Thank you very I much. I hope things go very nicely. Oh, and very fun. I'm so happy for you. Guys. Are, are you, are you gonna film? at all i think i might i think we should do a video with them and and test them oh parents like, first parents that's a good well idea. i was gonna test them on um today's trendy words 
You know how people do that? Oh, yeah. I, I was getting, next time I saw, I'm not, I'm, I swear to God, this yeah. idea too, but I'm doing that with my, uh, with my dad too. I think it'd be too. really funny. People have been doing it and it's really funny. Yeah. Oh, wait, my it's dad really would be funny. like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you want me to say? <laughs> want to say? <laughs> I don't know. I know my dad would be so just pissed at me having to do this video. So it would just be a really funny. He'd already yeah. be like annoyed. So it'd be, be perfect. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys have planned for Thanksgiving? Um, for me, I'm going to uh, Michigan to uh, our family's lake house. Get to see Ooh, all my cousins. Very nice. We play our annual football game. I'm very okay. excited. I wish my family did that. I wish I had like family football games yeah. and like we do that stuff too. That's we do so like baseball cool. games. Every stuff. time you're with your family, I watch your stories and like you guys play these like really fun games, like fun outdoor games. Oh yeah, like well kickball yeah. And this summer, it's uh, it's it's baseball, turtles versus frogs, and then football turtles. I miss frogs. that so much. We have much. a big old scoreboard. We have the King family would be the turtle. I know that's versus a dude. That's frog. some white shit. <laughs> 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 hey, we white like shit. it. We're festive, and oh, we do the we God. do the polar plunge uh, <laughs> during Thanksgiving, where we at like go jump into the lake when it's like freezing cold, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited. So that's oh, what I'm gonna God. do. I and, feel like Matt's the most American, like good old boy. Oh, Oh yeah, he also what's what's that thing that you go to every year? Groundhog Day. Oh, like Groundhog Day. Well, I've only been once, but I'm gonna go again next year. Of course year you're gonna. Of sure. course you're gonna go again. <laughs> Like, what, what's, what is it again? It's like everybody gathers together to see the groundhog come out of yes, the Yes, Zane. It's a Huck's very something. Historic. A historic, monumental, seasonal <laughs> holiday. But like it, the whole, like oh, the two, the two, uh, the two, mold, what are they called? The, the, gr- the groundhogs. Ground the two groundhogs <laughs> where it's like. What comes up on Groundhog's Day? What are those things? <laughs> the groundhog. <laughs> Punxsutawney Phil. Yeah, but what's the story behind it again? Basically, the groundhog predicts if it's going to be in early spring or late winter. Hasn't no, it not been right for the last like 30 years? Yeah, but the one he went to, it was... It was in early spring, in early spring. which is very rare, and it hadn't Whoa. happened like in like the past. I, I like, just... I just remember Matt like in this in the groundhog hat and everybody was just Whoa! and he went back to his face was like ah! I, I was love like, groundhog day. Fuck is going I love on? it. I love it. And I'm thinking about starting my own chapter for out here like too. <laughs> what what is it a frat? No, it's just we all gather around at like Four in the morning and watch the groundhog live on TV. Y'all, you need to get weather. a hobby, Matt. You know, <laughs> this a, no, this is my hobby. A, that this is, is a very hobby. strong hobby. I think that is the hobbiest hobby I've ever heard in my hobby's life. Hobby. Fine. Joke about it. Come hey, join me. It's in Pennsylvania, Mariah. He said, well, when I'm not collecting my stamps, <laughs> I would like something else to do. We're just jealous that we don't have like a very cool hobby like that. Oh, sorry. I couldn't even say that. Zane, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? <laughs> what am I doing for Thanksgiving? Um, I'm going to Chicago. I was going to stay here because every, everybody's going to ev- Chicago. everybody, everybody says that they stay here for Thanksgiving. So this year I was like, I'm not going to go home. I'm going to stay here with all my friends and all my friends are going home. Mm-hmm. So, and I just, I was just home. So I'm going to Chicago. So you don't value family. I right. do thought I just saw my family oh, like a week and a half ago. Sure. I know. And I'm, I'm just... going to see him again in two weeks. So yeah, I'll, meet, I'll be there in Chicago though. Um, Cause I'm doing Todd's book signing a Q and a thing. And oh, Natalie, you are. Yeah. Natalie's birthday. I had a Nat- layover from Kalamazoo. Whoa. <laughs> Nobody, Matt. I was, I was. <laughs> With all these holidays coming up, the biggest thing we need to focus on is saving money. Exactly, baby. You know what I don't understand? Hmm. How people are still using those big wireless plans in 2019 when uh-huh. we could just be saving money. Baby, that's what I'm saying. They're they're hitting you with hidden fees. Inflated prices. Uh, uh, ain't it, though? Get it out of here. Because you know what? They know you'll pay for it. Right, exactly. I know my plan is like 180 bucks a month. Really? It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of money. It's a lot. That's too much. I know. That's why you need- That's exactly why we're going to Mint Mobile. Exactly. Mint Mobile? What's Mint Mobile? Mint Mobile is a new wireless provider that is doing everything online. There's no retail stores, no overhead costs. Everything is sent directly to you. And it helps cut your wireless bill down to just $15 a month. That's crazy. Guys, stop paying for unlimited data you're not going to use. Mint Mobile offers plans for 3, 8, 12 gigabytes of data to get you exactly what you need so you're paying as little as possible. Oof. And it's all for GLTE. GLTE. Wow. Mm baby. That's insane. You get the coverage that you're used to at a fraction of the price. And every plan comes with unlimited nationwide talk and text. Also, you can keep your phone, keep your phone number, keep your contacts. So guys, if you want to save money, cut your phone bill down to $15 a month. Go to mintmobile.com slash 
unfiltered and get it shipped directly to your door for free. Again, that's mintmobile.com slash unfiltered mm-hmm. and it'll be shipped to you for free. Baby, we are all about saving money this exactly. holiday season. Wow. Keep them coming. Keep the holiday sponsors coming. I love this. We hooking y'all up. Wow. I remember that one time for my birthday two years ago, it was my birthday and Zane posted a picture of Hedaya. <laughs> <laughs> but she's my sister. I know, but it was just, it was just strange. Wasn't but I don't idea. determine our friendship based on what you post post on like well obviously you do because you brought it up no i just i I just always remember do you know my birthday um your birthday is (laughs) october 3rd january no it's all right I don't even know it. We it's Groundhog's Day, just February go on a yacht or anything for it. Oh, that's no, right. Uh, 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 September, August, August, 27th. August, August seventeenth, twenty seventh. Shit. Oh, twenty seventh. Okay. Well, I got the seven right. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, well, I'll put that down my calendar now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zane joined the twenty seven club. Someone sent it in. Zane, now you're twenty seven. You know how many celebrities die at twenty seven. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. that is a big thing. That's scary. The twenty seven club. Who are the celebrities that died? Uh, the celebrities who are in the twenty seven club are like R. Amy S. Winehouse um, and Kurt, Kurt Cobain, Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin. Is it? Yeah, Morrison? but me compared to these people, they are so actually like, talented actually people. Actually talented <laughs> people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's all like a conspiracy theory, but Amy people Winehouse people are concerned. Yeah. That's insane. I know, right? She always seems so much older. In I my know. Head. Like, just not on. Just, like, just so mature. Just very. Just be know, careful, like, Zane. Be careful. This is just got to have be delicate this year, you know? Don't scare me, guys. You guys are scary. I know. They, they, I'm they sorry. All, it was a little bit of a dark topic. They all died with a white lighter in their pocket. Wasn't that's, that, the that is not true. I don't think that's true either. That's, that sounds like a. They okay. all die with a white lighter in their pocket. That's the thing. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you God I don't smoke no, anymore. He so. always believes some wacky conspiracy. It's no. a. <laughs> yes, you do. Fuck off, I, Matt. Oh, Snopes noting that the white lighter thing. Just look it up. But I think this was also because back then there were only white lighters, right? I'm pulling it up for the folks who are listening, and the fact check says this is false. And that's another one for the prosecutor. All right, guys, so that's it for the podcast. <laughs> but Whatever. Let it be a, a wives' tale. The point is, I'm right. Oh, you're I wrong. Love, I love I'm like smart. little conspiracy you're theories. I do too. Like oh, man. They're so Can fun. we dedicate a whole podcast to talking about conspiracy yeah, theories? Yeah, you guys I, should. I would love to, but like, I feel like I talked about a conspiracy theory one time and everybody hated me because like I believed something. What was it? I don't remember. I remember it, it and I don't even think we should bring it up on the Ooh, podcast. Should we not bring it? Oh, we shouldn't bring it up. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. And we should oh, that's a, well, that's another one. That's another one. <laughs> Well, that's another one for the <laughs> that, that, I don't know. I got in a big fight with you about that. That, I, that I was our this... first fight. We don't even have to go into it. No, but no, no, I, no, I remember not. I like didn't kind of talk to you for over a week. Oh, Matt was oh nasty. my God, really? Or like yeah. I just wouldn't like acknowledge you when I would enter rooms and stuff. Oh my the God. Thing is, the thing is, when I disagree with somebody, I don't shun them and I'm not nasty to them. Ooh. Well, there's a reason why we're not talking about it right now. <laughs> Guys, I know this podcast is unfiltered, but we got to filter some things, okay? Uh, <laughs> and this is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually down to do a next podcast. I don't know about you guys, but It'll I'm be down. Fun. Oh yeah, I think be really yeah. Cool. Nothing Can like kicking it? off the holidays with conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everybody had a great turkey dinner. We're gonna start this off with the moon landing. Yeah, <laughs> no, send in conspiracy theories, but also send in like fun games too. Because oh yeah, <laughs> oh, you know what was a cool one? You've heard about the Colorado airport? Yes, yes. The Denver oh, airport. The what? Yes, yes. Denver the, airport. Yeah, I know, but what about? People what say it's like a it's like a bunker for the end of the world, right? What? And like there's like I've these never heard this, of this whole underground thing that they built that just they just abandoned. There's a giant horse statue. When we went to Colorado, a we giant, stay, we giant, went giant, giant, giant horse, horse statue, statue with up. red laser eyes. It's weird. What? It's really weird. But then weird. they're also trolling the conspiracies because they're under construction right now. So all their like construction paper says under construction or oh, planning the yes. apocalypse no. or like yeah. whatever yeah. it is. So that's, a ca- that's a campaign. Yeah, because they're poking fun at themselves. Yeah, right. no, that. I kind of do believe it, but I, I think they're just being smart. You know, they're preparing for the end of the world. They're just being prepared. I a lot of conspiracy theories in my pocket but i don't want to bring it up yet because yeah, that's a it. whole podcast i'm so excited this is gonna be like a two and a half hour <laughs> podcast like, maybe that's a promo for our next podcast so mm. baby stay tuned subscribe mm-hmm. make sure to follow mm-hmm. 
Um, and we got another promo for you guys. We do have the unfiltered merch oh. that we came out with. Oh if you guys want to check that out, it, it's selling really fast. And it we're, is. We're out of stock. <laughs> like hot cakes. Is it really? It's, it's it sold out? It went out of stock twice. Well, uh, well, can I say something? We Mariah and I don't have any we don't merch. Have we don't have any unfiltered I know. merch. We'll we're part of... Because Yanni... Yon, Yon, Fanjoy Talk... Co slash Zane and Heath. Y'all, you y'all you can use true. the promo. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? It's called Zane and Heath Unfiltered for a reason. <laughs> okay, so y'all buy the merch. I, no, no, I we'll, get, we'll, 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 we'll get you guys some no, no, for sure. You guys we should get custom merch. ones that say like <gasps> oh, creative jersey director. on the back or something. Like, it's got like uh, your name. But we, you, could put, we could put ho- a host and hostess. Can I say something about the merch? Yeah. It, not only if you're interested in buying it, if your friend is also a big fan of the podcast, right. you should get that for them as their Christmas, Christmas gift. gift. Yeah. It's the Thank perfect you, gift. Right, and for all our coffee drinkers out there, we do have the mugs right here. Right the mugs. Mm-hmm. The mugs, We've too. got hoodies, t-shirts. We've got phone cases. we got a whole bunch of stuff. So if you want to check that out, go to fanjoy.co. And, uh, Slash Zane and Heath. I don't know if it's... It is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah, I, I, I typed it in. I typed it in another day. Works. Keep tweeting us pictures and Instagramming us pictures because we're seeing them all. It's crazy how fast they got them. Yeah. Like it's oh, so cool. They got See, it in like a day and a half. I know. Because my mom sent me a picture and she had it after a day and a half of the release. So they got it. That's so crazy. fucking cool. Wow. Great. Yeah. So if you guys do want to get it as a Christmas present for somebody, it comes in in like a day and a half. But it, don't take my word on it. It just. It happened to be. And, and we do and see long. every single one. We see you guys wearing it. We love seeing you guys support us, and it really means a lot to us. So thank you guys. Also, remember to leave comments on the podcast and leave a review for us. We really appreciate Five that. Five star, well. it helps a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like a, a greedy Uber. G- give me five stars. <laughs> <laughs> five star, five star, five star. Five star. Five star. <laughs> That's so funny. Have the Ubers over and five star. always oh say five star. five star. I was like, you know what? Five star. But then they give you a three and a half. You know, it'd be like <laughs> <laughs> one day I saw my Uber was four point like six, seven. I was like, whoa, that's really bad. My mine is the same because I think it's because we, we but all I get... behave. I behave in my Ubers. I just feel like there's times where there's I have we had friends. a rough pass that probably put a pretty bad death. Yeah, into our yeah I think yeah. so. But fun. hopefully the listeners all have a safe and happy holidays. Yes, yes, yes exactly. Thank you so much for tuning in <laughs> and listening good. to us and watching us. We really appreciate it. You guys can listen to us every Monday on the podcast app, Spotify platform, all those podcast apps. Mm-hmm. And on Tuesday, you can watch us and our beautiful faces at youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. And uh, we hope you guys have a beautiful Monday. Happy holidays. And we will see you guys next week. And ciao! Ooh. Ah. Very good. Very good. Cheers. Let's do another cheers. I just want to say it one more time. It's coffee time, baby.